Leech is a Drupal module which you can use to aggregate news from other sites and import them as Drupal nodes on your own site. You will find the Leech module at the Drupal website under Downloads Modules and there you will see the official releases. Just download the current one. I'm using Drupal 5.0. After you downloaded Leech, you will see a folder and which is called Leech and under that folder you'll see the readme text file. The readme text file will tell you how to install this module but I'm going to install it a little bit different because I'm going to use my own content not types. Okay, let's get started. I uploaded this module using FTP and um, here's how to install the Leech module. Okay, first we enable all the required modules. That's what we're going to do. We're in the Administer section and we'll be clicking on Modules and at the bottom you will see the Leech module, you enable the Leech module and also the Not Template module. Then you click on Save Configuration. Let's get to the next. Check the Admin Settings Leech page to make sure that there's no warning message about the curl library not being installed. Okay, we had no warning message. Okay, number three, create new content type. Okay, this is the difference. I'm going to create my, my own content types, which is, in this case, RSS News and RSS Source. First, I'll be creating RSS News. We'll be back in the Administrator section, clicking on clicking on Administrator, Content Types, and at top at the top we see Add Content Type. This this is what I'm going to do right now. Okay, I'm creating the content type RSS News. And at the bottom I am clicking on Save Content Type. Okay, now I created this content type RSS News. After that we are going to create the new template using RSS News. Okay, back at the Administrator section I'm going to create content. I'm clicking on this link, create content. Okay, where's RSS News? Right here, RSS News. Now, I'm using as the title template story and we also have a placeholder for the body which is template not. Okay, before we create the template we make sure that the publishing options are set to not published. Okay, uncheck this checkbox, okay? Then I'll just click on Submit. And next thing I will see is a template story which was created, RSS News. And I will click on the link Template. Because I am using my own content types, I will have to add something in the Save PHP code. Just copy and paste this code and enter it here. Click on Create Template. Okay, now we, cre we are creating the template and I will see the template if I click at the link Administrator not templates and right here 
as the template we, template we just created. Let's go back to Administrator and create a second new content type which will be RSS source. Here. Create content type and call it RSS source. This is what I'm going to do. Call it RSS source. And then just click on Now, there's a difference this time because we are going to enable the leech options we can also change the update interval to one day the template we're using the template template of template story which we just created and delete news item older than we can either leave this to 26 weeks or or put it to never okay okay this is the difference and ours as source we enabled leech save content type Okay, now we got two t uh, two new content types, which is ours as news and ours as source. In ours as source, we enabled leech. Okay, let's try to aggregate some news. I will click on create content. On, and then ours as source. Give it a title. and in under URL you will have to put in the the feed URL author of feed okay I just click on submit And now let's try to leach some data. Okay, we have 15 items added. Let's click on, on recent posts and see if we really got some news from a different website. Okay it worked it actually worked the source we see here the source the RSS source which is TechCrunch then we see the news from TechCrunch those are the news